Tanakaji Abhishek, how are you? Tanakaji Simran, I'm well, thank you. How are you? Hope it's not too late to wish you Happy New Year, is it? Well, of course not. Happy New Year to you as well. Thanks. So, New Year. Have you got any New Year resolutions? No, not this year. I'm starting to think, well, it's getting a bit out of date. I don't think we need to wait to the new year to make resolutions and goals. I feel like we can make goals any day of the week or any time of the year. Oh my God, that's so true. Every year I end up making resolutions and halfway through Jan, these have all gone out of the window. Anyway, any big plans this year? Well, yes, big things are happening. I'm going to university this year. Well, hopefully anyway, but I'm getting a bit nervous about the getting the right grades. Oh, don't worry about it. Believe in yourself and have faith that you will do well. I know, everyone keeps telling me this and I will do the hard work and put in the revision but I'm struggling to keep faith that everything will be fine. Look Simran, in and amongst your revision time, try and make an effort to go see some fellow devotees. And if you're really struggling for time, listen in on Vachars and other online content. There is so much out there these days on the mission's website or YouTube or various different podcasts. Take a few minutes to listen in and perhaps that will help you build faith. Maybe listen in on Soul Vibes. Soul Vibes. Hi everyone, hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to Soul Vibes, the first episode of the year in 2024. Simranji, you know our conversation earlier about faith. That reminded me of Raj Pitaji's New Year Vichar making reference to blind faith and borrowed belief. Borrowed belief? I've never heard of that. What does that mean? Well, for me, borrowed belief is, you know, when our understanding is based on someone else's understanding. Or when our conviction is based on someone else's conviction. Oh, I think Mataji has spoken upon this recently, that we should all create our own unique relationships with Nankard as we're all going on our own individual journeys. For me, I connect through music, and where I may not fully understand the language the music is in, my soul is still connecting to the super soul, and I'm still getting so much joy out of it. That's thought-provoking, Simranji. And now let's further reflect on this topic of borrowed belief by inviting Nindaji to this conversation. Tanankaji Nindaji. Tanankaji Abhishek Ji Simranji. Nindaji, what's your take on borrowed belief? My understanding of this, Abhishek Ji, is borrowed until becomes our own. Could you perhaps give an example to explain this further? Anji Simranji, attending Sangat as a youngster because my parents asked me to was borrowed belief. Then life presented me with immense personal challenges where I was away from the spiritual world. I was lost and alone. I needed something to bring me back, to give me inner peace. Then I returned to Sangat, which looking back now was transactional belief. I can actually really relate to this experience. When I was a child, the only reason why I would come to Sangat was because I knew I'd see my friends and I knew that after Sangat, I would play with them and talk with them. And this was our friendship bond. But as the years went by, it turned into a spiritual bond because we could all really openly just talk about Nankard and this really strengthened our faith. That makes sense. Nindaji, did your children also go to Sangat when they were young because you asked them to? Simple answer to that question, Abhishek Ji, is yes. They also experienced this borrowed belief as they too did what I was doing. For example, Nimshkar in the same manner. Dhanangarji to saints in the same manner, until they reached an age where they started to engage with saints, having their own conversations and questions and observing, until this borrowed belief now becomes their own belief, resulting in faith. Evidence of this is when they all attended different universities across the UK and by their own free will attended local sanghats and engaged with saints to further develop their faith. <laughs> Nindaji, that takes me back to my childhood when to encourage me to brush my teeth, my parents often gave me a gold star sticker. Until I grew up a little bit 
and understood the importance of brushing my teeth without having to rely on a gold star sticker. sticker. So, how would you advise to grow our faith? Well, Simranji, this is an ongoing journey for all of us. However, I started to experience acceptance in the decisions Nirankar was making for me. This led me to such inner peace. There was no more anxiety, no questions, and no sleepless nights. Was this the outcome of surrender? Surrender I maybe should have practiced a lot sooner in my life, but maybe I needed to experience other avenues too. So what about the highs and lows of life? Say hypothetically, when we really wanted something and we really desired something in our life, but we just didn't get it, how could we react to this? Simranji, Satguru Mata Siddhiksha Ji said in a recent vijar that they will inevitably highs and lows in life. To maintain the balance between these two emotions is sukoon. But Satguru Mataji also said, we need to get to a place where we can't even see the difference between these two emotions. My understanding of this is total acceptance, that everything happening is within Nankar's will. Yes, as it says in the Aftar Bani, Socho samjo taangal manno, man ke te fir dolo na, Kahe avtar sachnu paake, pir gandagi folo na. Abhishek ji, faith is a journey that could start a borrowed belief, where one contemplates and understands and then forms their own unique relationship with Nankar. And faith is such a beautiful thing. It's almost like a protective field, you know the example of an umbrella, where the umbrella protects us from the rain, but it doesn't stop the rain. Similarly, faith is like the umbrella. It doesn't stop the rain or change the circumstances, but instead it shields us from the impact and helps us stay grounded and stay stable. There's a quote by Vivian Green. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. So Simranji, we all have our own borrowed beliefs. But what we need to have is faith in our Satguru. And on this topic, should we now hear a poetic perspective from Sadiq Ji? One day, my friends, I caught a thief. He said, I swear, I just borrowed belief. Allow me to return the belief I found. I swear, I'll just go underground. So we stopped to further interrogate. Confess, we said. It's never too late. How can belief be borrowed? Explain. And if you were to return it, what would you gain? The beliefs we get given from a young age, we take them as fact and build our stage and become characters enshrined in these as if properties given to us on lease. We follow them blindly, make them our own, usually handed to us by people we've known. But they are not beliefs we understood fully. Truths that are still kind of woolly. But when we are tested, beliefs often shift. Some say that faith is the ultimate gift. For faith is harder to shift and have shaken. Perhaps it is a journey to help one awaken. The journey from being blind to then see, to lose all beliefs so your faith can run free. So return what is borrowed, build your own. Faith is established from a truth that is known. We were left speechless, we just let him go. For beliefs have been borrowed by all of us, so... We need to assess and reassess in our mind. We need to have faith, but it should not be blind. And once we are clear, then with eyes open wide, we can say we have known, we have seen, we have tried. And we are in bliss, in peace, in sukoon. We have faith in our piper. We just dance to her tune. Piper, we just dance to her tune. 
Simran ji, do you remember Mata Savinda ji had given us a message of confidence and guided us to have full faith in Nirankar? Yes, it's like that quote. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I have total faith in who holds tomorrow. Haan ji, bilkul. Ishq hakiki mein ek hi usool hai. Tu kabool, tera kiya sab kabool hai. Abhishek ji, shall we now perhaps get a scientific perspective on faith? It will be interesting to hear from Pooja ji who is a medic and will share her views. So Tananka ji Pooja ji Tananka ji Abhishek ji and Simran ji Pooja ji as a medical professional how would you differentiate between faith and belief? Well Abhishek ji I would say that once belief can be that there are advancements happening in medical science which would lead to cure and faith is a patient coming to a doctor with trust in doctor's knowledge and their experience and the conviction that they will be cured so are we talking about faith in the doctor or the doctor's knowledge well in this context it might be tricky to have faith in knowledge alone as we all know how knowledge is freely available to everyone at their fingertips but we often hear that a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Yeah, isn't there a verse in the Avtar Bani something along the lines of um one cannot be a professional with limited knowledge? Um oh yes, is it ek din hatti bad sarafi gehne nahi bana sakda. Munda je ho jaye monitor, master nahi akwa sakda. Exactly. If a patient has limited knowledge about an illness or condition or indeed the treatment, this can create panic. and anxiety amongst them whereas a doctor can apply the knowledge in such a manner that it benefits the patient if the doctor didn't have conviction in the knowledge then a patient would not have faith in the doctor pooja ji medicine is science so what's the role of faith in medicine well faith plays an important role in medicine my role involves looking at the diagnosis and prescribing treatment to cancer patients i have seen in some scenarios how patients may have identical diagnosis leading to pretty much the same treatment plan but the way they respond to the treatment can be very different from talking to them it has become very clear that those who have accepted the situation generally respond better and this acceptance comes from the faith they have in their spiritual belief this is what makes the journey more comfortable and they tend to deal with situations far more calmly isn't there scientific evidence to you that those who are calm and generally remain positive respond better to treatment and have a quicker rehabilitation oh yes remaining calm and being positive triggers the appropriate hormonal response and makes a massive difference in the road to recovery which is precisely why medics encourage us to remain positive and have faith yes how many times have we heard the doctor say ab bhagwan pe bharosa rakho abhishek ji the point is ab nahi hamesha bhagwan par bharosa rakho as sadguru mata ji said in her vichar that we make god our last resort whereas god should be our first option when i don't know who to turn to i run to you i run to you
हर मंजर में देखो तुझे चार सू खामा जो मैंने तेरा दामन तेरा बन Wow, there's so much I picked up from these conversations, beautiful poems, and that inspirational song on the aspects of one's faith and belief. Yes, I thought they were one and the same, but having thought about what had been shared today, I've begun to understand there's a subtle difference. What's that then, Simranji? Well, there's borrowed belief, which we have accepted without question from all sorts of places: our peers, our friends, our parents, social media. Then there's transactional devotion, when we want something in return for displaying that belief, like when we pray to God to fulfill our desires. Yes, and even non-believers turn to God in times of troubles as their last resort. We've probably seen such examples of adopting similar practices, like speaking, eating, living, or praying in a certain way as those around us. We do that without questioning why we do it. It's only when we see something different or try some other way of fulfilling the task that our experience is truly developed. I see that's how you grow your faith. Once you've tested it out and it works for you, and once it works for you, you have faith. And as we concluded with Pooja ji, there is scientific evidence that faith and positivity has a big role to play even in medicine. Faith shields us from negativity. changes our approach without requiring a change in circumstances hanji and this faith comes from our sadguru only if we surrender our ego and adopt her teachings so on that note thank you to all our listeners until next time dhanyavad ji, ji.